Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're going to be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. We're going to be trying it out under my eyes. I do suffer with some veins, really dark green veins. So we're going to see how the coverage is. We're also going to be doing a wear test. This retails for $26. You can find it at Sephora.com and also just Sephora in store. And so if you guys want to see me review this, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay guys, all I have on my face right now is primer and I also filled in my brows. Everything I used on my face will be listed in the description if you're wondering. And so this is what the box looks like that it comes in and I did get mine in the color 120 which it says it right there on the top. And this is what the actual packaging looks like. It's really pretty. It's in that nice frosted glass and then it has like a nudish kind of off-white cap. And this is what the applicator looks like. I love these kinds of applicators. They're my favorite just because they're the easiest to use for me. So as you guys know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I do suffer with really dark veins under my eyes. Now I do have some dark circles like in the inner part. Not Nothing too crazy. What I really like to cover is these veins and like discoloration under my eyes. So usually I do use two concealers, one before my foundation and one after, but for the sake of this video, I'm only going to use this concealer on its own because I want to see how the coverage is by itself. So with that being said, I'm going to use it before my foundation and also after. So this is actually not going to be my first time using this concealer. I tried it for the first time yesterday and I applied way too much. Like I did some on my veins and then I did it after and it just looked very heavy. So today I'm going to try to keep it very light and only keep it on those veins so I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here it is a very very creamy concealer it feels a little bit thick but it has some moisture in there to where it's just very creamy so I'm just gonna use about that much and I'm gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna try to keep it on the outer edge of my eye just because right in this inner corner is where I crease a lot so I don't like to put a lot of product there and as you guys can see it just blends out really nicely this color does look a little light but I feel like it does oxidize especially when I set it with powder yesterday when I set it it did oxidize quite a bit so I actually think the color is gonna be okay and I have nothing under my eyes except for my eye cream that I applied this morning. Okay, so this is what it looks like with one light layer over those veins. And as you guys can see, my veins are still peeking out quite a bit, but that's okay because I don't want to cake it on too much. And so now I'm just going to apply my foundation like normal and then I'll jump back on camera to show you guys me highlighting and concealing with this. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so I got my foundation on and now we're going to go ahead and highlight and conceal with this baby. So I'm going to apply it under my eyes again, but but this time I'm gonna bring it in that triangle kind of way. Did that even make sense? <laughs> I'm gonna bring it down like a triangle and I'm not sure about like how the drying time is yet. So I'm just gonna first do my under eyes. I'm also gonna use this as like an eyeshadow primer. Then I'm just gonna blend that in. And as you guys could see, it has really good coverage. It looks super light, but like I said, it will oxidize once I set it with powder. So yesterday I set it with my, um what was it, Patrick Star Powder, but I used my Beauty Blender to kind of pack on the powder, and for some reason, it just really clung to the concealer, and it looked so freaking dry. Like, it looked really bad and really creasy. So today, I'm actually gonna just try to use a really tiny bit of powder just so it doesn't look so dry. Alrighty, and now I'm just gonna highlight the center of my face. As you guys can see, I have some scars peeking through right here, so hopefully this will help cover those. And then down my nose, and a little bit on my chin so I don't think it dries really fast so I guess I could have put it everywhere first because it doesn't seem to dry that quickly so that definitely helped cover up those scars not all the way but it did help it has about medium coverage I feel like not so much full but I have a lot of stuff to cover so it might be full to other people but for me it's about medium coverage okay so this is what it looks like without it being set as you guys can see it doesn't have a super matte finish it has like a little luminosity to it so it's very like hydrating it just looks very natural under the eyes and it does cover well it didn't cover all my veins like I have a lot of discoloration still peeking through from that green color 
um, but once we set it hopefully that will get better but I think yesterday when I set it because it has that like luminosity to it my powder just really clung to it and it looks super dry so today I'm actually gonna try using a brush instead of my sponge and so to go ahead and set it today I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Peach Perfect powder just because yesterday I did use the Patrick's powder and usually this does look really really good under my eyes but for some reason it just did not go with this concealer maybe it's because I put too much I'm not sure but today I did want to try a different powder so first I'm gonna blend out any lines that I have because it does crease automatically then I'm just gonna go in and set it with that peach powder very lightly so as you guys can see since I set it it changed the color dramatically like it's not as light which I actually like this side better so it's a good thing for me but just keep that in mind when you're picking your shade if anything I would go a little bit lighter just so it doesn't look too dark under your eyes because it will darken when you set it and then I'm just gonna do the same thing to this eye okay so this is what my under eyes look like and now that I set it and it actually looks really good it does maybe just look a tiny bit dry like in the inner part right here um, but nothing compared to yesterday like I said yesterday that powder just stuck on there and it looked really dry and really bad but now it doesn't look too bad and it looks very smooth, especially like on this outside right here. Now you could still see that green peeking through, which I'm not too happy about just because I'm very insecure about my veins under my eyes. But other than that, it looks really, really pretty and I like the way it looks so far. And usually I do crease right here in this line right here and it is kind of settling already right there. But that's kind of the way it is with all concealers for me just because that line is so deep. But we're definitely going to keep an eye on that throughout the day. And so yeah guys, now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. And then I'll be back to show you guys how everything looks like together. Um, but for the wear test, it is now 1.17 p.m. If you guys could see that. And so I'm going to wear this throughout my whole day. I do have work later and everything. So I will be right back after I'm done with my makeup. Okay, so this is what the concealer is looking like. It definitely looks less dry than yesterday because I used like a light amount of powder. But on this eye, it actually didn't have enough powder. So I actually had to go back in with some more because it was already starting to crease right here in that line. Um, but other than that, it's looking really good. I do think the color is still kind of light for me. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I should keep this color or maybe just go one shade up just because I feel like it is kind of light and I don't know if that looks good or not. Um, but yeah, so that is what the concealer is looking like. I am going to go throughout my day and wear this and then I'll be back at the end of the night to check in with you guys to tell you how it held up on my skin. And so I'll be back later. Hey guys, so I'm coming in with my last check-in. I've been wearing this all day. It is now 9.40 p.m. Hopefully you guys could see that. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at this concealer. So this is what she's looking like. Let me go ahead and take a look closer. Um, so I am creased where I always crease right here in this line right here. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's not really that bad at all. It looks really smooth still all right here. Um, it looks a little bit dry in this tear duct area as you guys can see, especially with this eye. Just like all these little bumps look kind of dry. But other than that, man, this looks really good. I really like the way it looks. It just wears really nicely on my skin. It looks super smooth. I love the coverage, so, so far so good with this. And so, yeah, guys, this is only my second time wearing this concealer, so I'm definitely gonna have to keep trying it out, but so far I'm really liking it. If you have any questions for me, leave it in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to answer it for you guys. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, Brittany Raquel, go ahead and subscribe. I do make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so that's three times a week, and I'll catch you guys in the next next one. Bye!